Hello friends. So now let us go over another problem from lead code. The problem name is Candy. Cool. So let us go to the problem statement first. It states that there are n children standing in a line and each child is assigned a rating value given in the integer array ratings. So every child is assigned some rating as you can see in the input. Now you are given candies like you are giving candies to the children such that your giving candy should be satisfying two requirements. The first one is that each child must have at least one candy and just uh, like keep track of the second condition. It is also important that children with a higher rating get more candies than their neighbors. Cool. So now you have to return the minimum number of candies that are required to be distributed among the children such that both the conditions are satisfied. Okay, let us go over the example first. The first example said that the ratings are 1, 0, 2. And if you divide the candies like this, 2, 1, 2. So as you can see that this is the smaller rating. So it will be getting one candy and this is larger. This is 2 and this is 2. You might be thinking that this is more larger. But I'm just talking about its neighbors. Okay, that is why. If you're not talking about the whole cumulative thing. 2 is more than this and this is getting one candy. So I can just give it one more candy than it is. Okay, I cannot compare it with this one student. I'm just comparing it with just the neighbor. Also see here that uh, the first one is getting one candy. The second one is getting two candy because it is greater. But the third one is also equal to two, but it is getting one candy. Why? Because it is not greater than its neighbors. It is same as its neighbors. Cool. So I have to initialize everything with one. Okay. And then if the neighbor is greater than that, like greater in value, then only I will increase it by one. I'll say I will not increase anything because if I see these two neighbors like my, my point is that the next neighbor will only be getting greater values if it is greater than its neighbor. This is not greater than its neighbor. So I can give it one value also. Cool. Just keep in mind that this condition also. Cool. So uh, how to come up with a solution for this approach like this problem. The main thing is that I have two scenarios like from the left half and then from the right half like for every uh, for every person there are two neighbors left and right. So why not talk about both the sides first? So we can make two vectors moving from left to right. What is the candy every person should be getting? Uh, given that I'm just comparing to the left neighbor and then I can make another vector that is for right. And what is the maximum number of candies every person is getting compared to its right. And then using those two vectors, we can finally conclude our answer. So let us move down to the drawing board to make it more clear. Let us take that example only that is one, two, two. Cool. And let us uh, uh, take the example for left side and the right side. I'm comparing with, with the left side and the right side, like, like the left neighbor and the right neighbor and so on. So initially every sh everything should be one because everything, everyone should be getting at least one candy. So these are two different vectors. I'm just drawing it like this. These are not matrix. This is a different vectors left and right. Cool. Now, uh, compare starting here with this because I'm comparing with the left side. This is not here anything to the left. So this is there. This rating is greater than the left one. So it will, it should be getting one more candy than the left one. So this is getting one. So it should be getting two candies. Cool. This is same as this. So I should not change anything. This is like one to one. Now coming to the right side, this is fixed. Like, uh, this is like one only. If I take this and compare it with the, the, this thing, they both are same. So I should not be changing this. If I take this and compare, compare these two ratings, this is larger, this is smaller. So I should not do anything because I will only increase them if they are greater. Cool. So these are all ones. Now I have to calculate the final answer with the final vector. What candy should be given to each thing. Now in the first scenario, I, I should be told that if this person should be getting two candies and in this scenario I should be getting that this person should be getting one candy. And if I take two candies, then both the scenarios will be fulfilled. Cool, because this is also fulfilled and this got also fulfilled. So taking the maximum one is better for us. So just take both of these values and find the maximum one and take that value. So this is one, this is two, and this is one. And that's the answer. And just like do a sum of all of them. So sum of all of those values and that's the answer because uh, taking two will satisfy this condition as well as this condition. And that's the whole solution. So let's move on to the, like the code part and make it more clear. Uh, what we have done here is just make two vectors of uh, like size n and left and right and initialize everything with one. Uh, you can do that in vectors, just putting just one here and then move from left to right, starting from the first index, not zero index. Keep in mind that and comparing that if the rating of i is greater than the previous rating, then take the previous rating and increment it by one. Uh, similarly, moving from the right to the end. So it is like n minus two, not n minus one. And uh, just doing the same thing. 
total is just the maximum of left of i and right of i taking the maximum of that and just adding in the total and just returning the total value that's the whole logic and the code for this problem coming down to the space and time complexity the space complexity is such that i'm taking two vectors so o of n and the time complexity turns out to be o of n as well so if you have any doubts till now you can mention down in the comment box thank you for watching this video till now i'll see you next one thank you coding and bye